The battery terminal and wiper arm puller comes with a few parts. The sliding T-bar puller screw and the knurled grip adjustable cone both work independently of each other. You've got two nylon pivot rollers, one on each side. Sprung loaded 2.5mm steel puller arms. The whole body is made from cast steel. It has a minimum jaw opening of 6mm and that extends all the way up to 28mm. To remove a wiper blade from its spline, first of all you have to remove the plastic cover around it. Underneath there will be a nut locking it down into place. This is a 13mm. So I'm just going to loosen that off and then I should be able to undo it with my fingers like so. It won't pull off. So using the tool, this extends from 6mm up to 28mm and it must go underneath this the spline there that's and then you tighten up using the the cone on the top until it is firmly gripped underneath i'm making sure i'm not hitting any of the rubber seals or anything that's underneath i'm then going to turn the t-bar that will work its way downwards and then as i carry on turning it will now start putting pressure underneath pulling it pulling it up you heard the click there I can then remove that and I haven't damaged the spline or the arm at all thanks for watching for any other questions regarding tools for the home garage and garden please visit amtechdiy.com and we look forward to answering them for you also, please don't forget to subscribe to our Antec DIY YouTube channel for more DIY videos. Thank you.